Hey guys, Sean Berry here. Um, right now it is 1.07 Sunday, February 14th. I'm getting ready for my uh, my sunrise shot, my L6. I figured I'd just kind of bring you guys along here in the beginning. I'm just getting my gear together. I'm going to take some GoPros with me. I'm going to take a couple camera bodies. Um, I'm thinking of setting one up for time lapses. If I do, you'll see it right now. One o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get outside. I want to get out there around five o'clock ish. The sun isn't supposed to come up until about 6.30. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm pretty tired. I just got home a moment ago and that's why I'm starting everything up so late. I'm going to get some gear together and get ready to go to bed. So just stay, you know, hang out with me for a minute. Um, so here's some stuff that I'm going to take. I'm going to take this cell phone to um, run some time lapse or something like that. Um, I'll probably take my Radian that I have. Um, I charge it up and, and stick a GoPro on it and take some uh, panning time lapses. I may or may not use this. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Charging up some batteries, some more batteries. Um, we've got little little tripods for the GoPros maybe. I don't know if I'm going to use these yet. And then I need to find the, the tripod holders for the GoPros. <laughs> Okay, I've got my uh, my GoPro tripod mounts here. I've got some regular GoPro mounts for maybe a car body or something like that. Got a little mini tripod, uh, another tripod mount. So I think I think I'm good to go with my little GoPros here. Um, and then I'm gonna set one up on my Radian. So let's get that bad boy started. Uh, here's one of my GoPro cases, and it is damaged. Um, these GoPros, honestly, they, they belong to my dogs. And Buddy, my big dog, he um, he cracked the little hinge against a rock one day while, while he was taking photos. Um, so it's not waterproof anymore, but it'll still it'll hold it um, for my needs for this. <laughs> printers are great. I printed up this little uh, GoPro wrench. I found it on online and printed up with my 3D printer. It lets you get a nice tight connection and makes things a little more secure. Okay, the Radiant is set up and ready for <clears throat> some panning time lapses. I made sure it's charged. Um, I have to get the programming wire and uh, create a little program for it so it knows how fast to rotate and take the shots that I need it to take. Okay, I think I got everything ready. I've got the GoPros set up with the Radian. Uh, the other GoPros ready. I've got some some tripod plates here. I've got you know three or four of those. Um, I've got my big boy here, my 5D Mark III. I'm gonna be using the 16 to 35 lens, which is on this camera right now, um, not the, uh, the, the the nifty 50. 
or as I like to call it, my body cap, because um, I rarely ever use this uh, particular lens. I've got my uh, everyday messenger bag filled up. I'm going to have my batteries in here, have my other lenses. Um, I'm going to be taking some photos with this as well, the 24 to 70. And I think that's it. Right now, it is 120. I am ready to go to bed. I'm going to go sleep. I didn't get up in about three hours, maybe four hours, but I want to get out there by no later than 5.30, so we'll see how that goes. So I just got up a little bit ago, um, getting ready to go out for the sunrise shoot. Um, there's one little issue, that it's just after 6. The sunrise is supposed to be happening at 6.33, so... Um, yeah, I've got to get moving. So right now it is 6.06, 6.07. I'm in the car. I'm not taking the car I want to take. I want to take my Jeep. Off-roading. However, my Jeep is blocked in by the Mini Cooper, so I'd have to move the Mini, get the Jeep out, and then it's just going to take way too long. So I'm stuck with taking my Ford Flex. <laughs> Light out. We are at 617. Um, still driving out here. I had to stop taking footage from outside of the car while driving because my hand is freezing. Um, my car says it's 47 degrees outside, so it wasn't freezing, but it's really cold and my hand is still really cold. And I think I'm pulling up to the spot where I was planning on taking this sunrise shot. So let's get ready for that. This isn't exactly where I wanted to park, so we're gonna flip around and get back to where I wanted to park. So there she is, that's the sunrise that I want to get here in a minute. Um, just leaving the car, uh, I got a little bit of a Spartan setup, I'm coming out here right now with just my main camera. I don't even have the lens that I want to shoot this with yet, but I want to make sure I'm set up um, where I want to be. I'm going to go back, grab my lens, grab the other gear that I'm going to take for this, um, and then go from there. Lovely. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna set up over by this truck tire in between the tire and the pillow. Yeah, this is just it's beautiful out here. <laughs> Actually it's not too bad. There's a little bit of trash, but this is kind of the, the trashy area of this nice area, so My goodness, it's only been a couple minutes and there's so much more light already. Um, here I am set up with the camera, right about where I said I was going to set it up. Now I got to go back to the car, 
and grab the rest of my gear, grab my quad, and you know, everything else. Okay, we're down to about three minutes till the sun's supposed to come up. Still haven't even put the lens on the camera that I want to use. Fortunately, I'm in a canyon, so the sun has to reach inside the canyon, so I probably have a couple more minutes more than I thought, so. Good news, yay! Okay, here we are. It is 6.31 right now. So I've even got a couple minutes to spare, and now we're just waiting for the sun. I think I got my shot set up. Um, see it here, maybe. Uh, so now I've got a few minutes to dial in my settings and get this thing looking nice and pretty. So here we go. So here's an interesting turn. I use Magic Lantern. It's a third-party software that I use on my Canon cameras. Um, I have it on both of them. Interesting fact is I haven't used the VHD function on my Canon 5D Mark III yet, and it's a little the menu's a little bit different than on my other Canon, my little Rebel. So now I've got to find the setting, and we are up on three minutes after the sun should be here any moment. So oops. I should have planned a little better than that. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but apparently I do have it set up. I like doing five frames, um, exposure, it says TV or AE, I don't know what AE is, but I'm shooting AV, um, increments of two, so that's right, I just have to turn the feature on. Now where is it? Boom, there we go. So now it's gonna take my five frames. Let's do a little test shot here. One, two, three, four, five. Very cool. Okay, well the sun is late. It's, it's 6.40 and as you can see, it's not much brighter than it was 10 minutes ago. So I don't know where the sun is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the quadcopter while I wait, and we can go up and we can go look for the sun. Okay, I got the quad set up, and then realized that I don't have my phone with me to hook up to the quad so I can see what the quad is seeing. So I gotta come back here.
So, I'm going to take a hike. Maybe get some good footage of me just kind of hiking. Because honestly, it doesn't look like the sun's going to be here for another half hour. That's kind of a bummer. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little hike and see how that goes. One thing I'm kind of not so nervous, but I am leaving my quad just hanging out. It's just over there somewhere. My camera gear and everything set up over there. So I've got probably 11 grand worth of stuff I'm just going to walk away from for a little while. Like you do. Okay, I've walked, I don't know, 10 miles, 12 miles. I should probably go back, finish this shoot. We can see the sun is creeping down the hill. There's still a long wait. We still got a long time. Somebody left a GoPro in the road. Look at this. Kind of maniac just leaves a GoPro in the road with a dead battery. That's really bizarre. I guess I'll keep it. So here's something that should help with the uh, photo is there's some clouds forming right there in the little V. Um, might be a little blown out, but Right in there, there's a there's a few little clouds. There's one up here, so hopefully that'll add to the photo. Maybe it'll get a little more pronounced in the next three hours by the time the the sun creeps down that hill and meets my camera lens. So the time right now is 7:32. The sun is an hour late. Okay, it's 7:45. We're getting there. Still in the sun. Um, I now know exactly what time the insects wake up in Tribeco Canyon. It's 7.45. It's 7.50. Still waiting. It's a lot brighter outside. I can see the sun hit the ground in a lot of places. Just not, you know, where I chose. Okay, so we're... We're getting closer. Um, it's actually it will probably happen not too long from now. So when I was initially doing my previs for this, I was thinking, well, if I'm set up where I'm set up now, the sun should come up over here. But then this morning when I got here, all the glow was happening over there. So I was like, oh, I guess I got it wrong. The sun's coming up over there. Well, now I can clearly see that the sun's coming up over here. So, I probably still have another 20 minutes or so, but I may have to reframe my shot. So that's essentially what my shot's gonna be. Um, I was thinking I might have to reframe it, but it turns out the way that I have it is I'm gonna have this lower peak in one third of my shot and then the sunrise itself coming over this, um, just the left of the little mound there. That'll be in my other third of the shot. And my top third is right in here. So, so I'm, I'm not gonna reframe it. I kinda like the clouds and the sun. And yeah, it's looking good.
Oh, I'm starting to see the sun peak. It just caught my eye. It spiked my eye right now. And then as I move closer, I don't see the sun anymore. But I see the aura of the sun, or what will be the sun in probably a minute or so. As you can see, the sun's creeping up on me. Hopefully I've got a good time lapse working over there on the left. I don't know, but it's dangerously close to, here's the sunrise. Let's get some shots going. So I'm shooting this right now wide open, but I'm thinking I might change that. Uh, let's get into live view. Let's just take a shot. ISO 100, aperture priority mode. Oh, look at that sun come through. It's, oh, damn, it's coming too fast now. It's really, really bright. Golly, give me a moment, sun. Jeez, I feel like it's your first sunrise over there. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I'm running um, Magic Lantern and it's taking five shots for me. And I think the 5D Mark III actually does five shots natively. I'm just so used to doing my HDR with that that that's what I'm doing. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, the sun is on me now. I'm actually, now you can actually see me because I'm being lit by the sun, which is pretty cool. But it's really bright and I should have brought sunglasses for a sunrise. Who knew? So here's that remote control airport I was telling you guys about. Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. It says Tribuco Flyers. And this is just a little airstrip. Um, usually when we come down here, it's later in the day and there's one or two people flying, you know, pretty large um, aircraft, you know, model aircraft. And it, it's, it's pretty neat to watch them. They do a lot of like 3D flying. If you look up some RC uh, 3D flying, it's kind of kind of interesting. Um, if I creep up here a little bit, yeah, you can see it now. There's a um, there's a graveyard. That's where the crashed planes go to die. You can see a bunch of uh, tail rudders there, and yeah, they just they stick them in the little graveyard there. It's kind of neat. I always wanted to join, just never did. Don't know why. It's a mile and a half from my house. So there you go. Let's uh, finish getting home.